Let's learn how to calculate heart rate using ECG strips. Before that, we should know about the larger boxes and smaller boxes which are present in the graphs where the ECG is printed. We know that the larger boxes are outlined with a little bit darker lines and inside that we have smaller boxes. With this knowledge, let's start with the first trick. For the first trick, uh, you will need a calculator. What you need to do is you need to find out two R waves in a ECG strips. In between them, you have to calculate how many small boxes are coming. So let's say in this example, as you can see over here, just count how many small boxes are coming. And now you have to uh, divide 1500 by those number of small boxes. Whichever the number comes, that will be your heart rate. You can count it and let me know in the comment section. The second way of doing it is, is like you count the larger boxes between two R waves. Only thing is make sure that the R waves which, which you are taking for the calculation are starting exactly from the larger box so that the calculation is proper. So you calculate how many large boxes are there. Now divide them by 300. So 300 divided by the larger boxes between two R waves can give you the heart rate calculation. Third way, it's kind of a sequence method. You have to remember a sequence which goes like 300, 150, 100, 75, 63, 47, like this. So if you can remember this, it's very simple because now you have to just uh, calculate the larger boxes between two R waves. Let's say there are five, then you go 300, 150, 100, 75 or 60. So like that, you can calculate the heart rate over here. And the fourth method, which we normally use for arrhythmia as well as rhythmic uh, heart waves, for that we have to do is, we need a six seconds of ECG strip. In this six seconds, how much ever QRS complex are coming that we calculate and make it into 10. So this many heart rate will be there for this particular ECG strip.